Hi, have you ever wondered what to do with all your leftover ham that you've had uh, after you baked a ham? Well, today we're going to solve that problem. We're going to be making a Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie. Uh, okay, what I've already done here is I've already taken all that ham off and cubed it and put it back in the fridge. We'll use that later. And I've got the bone here. And we need to simmer it to get our broth to make our, uh, we're going to be making noodles for, to go into our pot pie. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on high. And we're going to go ahead and add some salt. A little bit to get started here. A little bit of black pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add a little white pepper too. And a little onion powder. Okay, I've got two stalks of uh, two stalks of celery here and I'm going to add that to our ham. And I've got one yellow I guess it's about a small onion. We uh, chopped it up fine in the food processor. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now I'm going to turn it on high, and when it starts to boil, then I'm going to turn it down low. We're going to simmer it for an hour or two to get all the flavors out of the bone. Okay, I'm ready to go ahead and make the noodle part of our ham pot pie. What I've got in here is two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and I've got three tablespoons of cubed butter, and we're going to um, just cut this into our flour. We want it to resemble um, cornmeal. Okay, we've got our butter all cut in, and I also made a little well here where I'm going to put the eggs, and I've got a half a cup of the broth that's cooled down to room temperature and our egg is room temperature so we're going to go ahead and break that egg in there. Blend it around. Oops, add a little bit of our broth. And I'm going to add a little bit at a time because I don't know how much I'm going to need. I might need more, I might need less. Okay, I've got our dough. Uh, it formed a, a ball. And I had to add a couple of tablespoons of water to get it to do that too, along with our half a cup of broth. Okay, now we're going to get, um, I'll be back, get ready to roll out. Okay, we've got our dough ro rolled out to an eighth of an inch. <laughs> thick and we're going to go ahead and cut it in little squares here. Okay, we've got our dough all cut in the little squares and I'm going to go ahead and put it on uh, wax paper. We've got a little flour on there because they're going to have to dry and they dry out for at least a half an hour before we can, you know, uh, put them in our pot and cook them. While our noodles are drying out, we're going to go ahead and finish up our uh, our stock. I've already taken the ham bone out and uh, took off the meat off the bone and put it back in. And now I've got this uh, one I chopped off earlier. And we're going to go ahead and add that ham to it. Just cube the ham. And I've got about I've got a package of mixed vegetables, and you can use any brand you want. This is just a store brand. Add that. And I've got about four all purpose potatoes that were small, so I cube them up. I'm going to go ahead and add that, that to give it all a good stir here. And to this, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of dried parsley. If you got fresh, it'll be good. The dry works fine. Okay, so we're just going to let all this simmer together until our Vegetables and potatoes are done, and we'll get ready to add our noodles. Okay, we're all ready to add our noodles. So, just go ahead and drop them in. Make sure your water's boiling. Okay, I've got all 
the noodles added. It's probably going to take about 10 to 12 minutes for the noodles to be done. And if, the, and if our broth is not thick enough at that time, I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, make a slurry, and I'm going to go ahead and add some thickening to it. Okay, our Pennsylvania Dutch uh, ham pot pie is done. And let's see. Take a little bite. It's extremely hot here. Blow it a little bit first. Don't burn my mouth all up. It's very good. I hope you enjoy this recipe and thank you and come again.